I began to learn the shady history of Neutropolis shortly after my week-long <laughs> holiday <laughs> in the Blue Pens. Most events happened before my time, but I was soon to get swept up in the events which had transformed this radical, free-thinking utopia into the polluted pit of boredom it is today. Something was up with the population, something unnatural and sinister. My life and theirs were about to change forever. I'll start right at the beginning. I was spending a little quality time walking a couple of blocks and whistling a particularly annoying tune I had composed. When suddenly, from out of the smog... Whoa! <laughs> What's up, dudes? I spent seven lousy days in a Spartan blue box, basically for being too happy. And on every one of those days, those norm guys piped into my cell what could only be described as elevator music. Normalizing, they call it. Then, on the last day, Frustrated? Want to meet some like-minded individuals? Want to do something about the state of the city? Get a job and snoop around plush rest. You'll find a group in one of the dumpsters around the back. An empathizer? This was my first contact with people on the same wavelength. Stuff was about to change for the first time in almost 40 years. Right on. on 24 hours a day, I'm coming in after you. It's a plush rest bachelor special, guaranteed for 500,000 naughty nights. I'm not tired at the moment, and I'm not willing to get naked for just anyone. Yeah, me and who else? Be realistic. Just a set of slightly soiled scissors. Why would I want to do that? Look at that bald patch! I'm sure the scissors were never that big. I'd better not. My attention span for activity is fragile enough without tempting fate by sitting. There's no point. I can tell you exactly what's under there. About two pounds of fluff and some petrified pistachios. Let's see what's down here. Aha! There's some... Ah! Oh, that's done it! I've broken it! How come whenever I find money in furniture, it's always change and never a 20? Money will always come in handy. Now what can I use it for? 
right. Got him. What the heck is this? I think it came from my couch. It's making some really weird sound. Spooky. I don't know what it does. I've got it, but I'm not comfortable with the idea. I'll tell you that right now. I wish I could be like him. He's so... rock and roll. I prefer it off, but the norms insist it is turned on. More of a lo-fi, really, but I get by with it. <laughs> Not exactly a portable stereo. I'll leave it. Now this is a towel. This towel's good for keeping things hot or cool. Terrific insulation properties. I don't want to use that smelly thing. Okay, I have it. Hey, you in there! You listen to that TV! Or you'll get another week in the pen! Useless thing! Get back on before that norm outside complains! My greatest fan! It works automatically. I cannot do that. It's a jar of old white paint. Unfortunately, I added a little too much water to the mixture and it resembles fat-free milk now. I can't see any use for it at the moment. Okay, I've got it. A nodding bird toy. Very popular in the 70s. What possible use could I have for a nodding bird with an attitude? <laughs> okay, but if it pecks me, it's history. There's a rat stuck inside. He looks exhausted, but very clean. I could only get the door open by smashing it. Something hard and tasteless should do it. Whoa, it's a little cardboard box. This must come in handy. Turn that TV right back on! I'll be in if you don't! Stay normal! Ah, too loud! I'm gonna build a luge for my speakers if I ever see them. Great song, though. Na -na -na. My car's got no wheels, but I'm still rolling. It's locked, and I don't have the key. Besides, there's a norm outside. I can't get it to budge without the keys, and I don't think I'll be seeing those for about a week. Whoever made this death trap thought very seriously about home security. I seem to remember these things coming with the apartment. They're getting kinda lumpy. Gravity is an unkind mistress even to inanimate objects. Okay, at least I'll have something to sit on when I'm thrown back in the pen. 
Nice design. Robust. Ergonomic. I think this would be more useful in the next few minutes. Turn that TV right back on! I'll be in if you don't! Stay normal! Ugh, what is this? Just looks like junk mail to me. Do you crave for a plush posterior perch? Are you unhealthily heavy? Then come and work in our test department. Good shifts, lots of sitting, as much food as you can eat, and hear this. You get paid for it. See Mr. Brinkler right away. Remember the plush rest motto, if your butt's in a rut, buy the best, buy plush rest.